kind of had to shift my pattern and my way of life so that everything I do draws me nearer to Christ and not further from him. Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel, peace and love to you all, I hope you are all doing good, I hope you are blessed, I hope you are having a marvellous day. I just thought I'd come today to do a lifestyle update to let you guys know what we are eating, what we are not eating, what our fitness routine is like, whether we are still jumping rope, all these things that have been lacking in this channel for a long time. I do understand, I do recognize that I've been sharing a lot of the faith and not so much of the fitness. So today we're going to be sharing the fitness and the lifestyle. But before we get into it, I just want to say a prayer and let God lead. Um, so let's pray. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for this opportunity to come um, before everyone today to share the lifestyle that you have led us to have, to share the nutrition and all that you have blessed us to be able to incorporate into our lives. We thank you that you are bringing us in, you are bringing us to a place where we can appreciate our bodies, where we can take care of our bodies, where we can take care of this gift that you have given us, the gift of life, and where we can make better choices that will be a better impact to our health and fitness. We pray that you bless everyone that's listening and watching and may all that we share be of benefit to them and help them to be directed to a place where they can take care of their bodies and their health and their mind and their soul and where they can benefit from. So we pray that you lead us and you direct us in all that is said. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, so we're going to be talking about quite a few things today. I'll try and make this video as short and compromised as possible still touching on the major points i think i'll just begin at the major major change that has happened in terms of our lifestyle and diet and that is the fact that we have gone vegan yes yes we are completely um and wholly vegan at the moment the main reason for that choice um was due to religious convictions i will not lie Yes, it all began with learning a bit more about scriptures, learning a bit more about our bodies and health. And, and I think the first thing that caused that change for me was just understanding also that God's initial plan at creation was a plant-based diet for man. That prompted also more learning and understanding of why God was directing me towards a plant-based diet. And I think I've come to understand the, the benefits of it and I've come to understand why God has led me here so that was the major reason but also apart from that you can decide to do something right but then you can change your mind so for you to keep doing it there has to be a reason for you to keep doing it and it's only if it's of good to you and it's of benefit to you that you will keep doing it even though I took that decision to start because it was a religious conviction I have also by choice decided to continue because I've seen the benefits that it's been for me personally. It's probably one of the major changes I'll say that has happened to us so far. With that, if you guys want to know exactly um, what the detail is as to what I eat, what I don't eat, then I can share all that with you guys. It's not been long since I went vegan, maybe a few months, because I started in June. I'm going to put the exact date. June 2020 was when I decided to go vegan. Since then, I actually have not looked back and I've not felt like I miss anything. I've almost, I almost feel like I've been vegan for a very long time. I've tried many diets before, actually. Let's let's go through that. I've tried the keto diet. I've done, you know, the no carbs and all that. I've also done the juicing diet. We're doing a fruit blend today. I haven't had papayas in so long and reminds me so much of home. I love it. All of these diets, right? Every time I tried them, they were just more just to challenge my body and to see what change it might result in. And they're mainly for weight loss purposes as well. But what I did notice is that these diets, I wasn't able to maintain them for a long time. They were just like short periodic diets. And unfortunately, I found that that is not a very great way in terms of maintaining your health and your body and your weight and your lifestyle. Why? Because all these things are only short, temporary, um, quick diets. And most of the time to kind of maintain those diets will mean that you're restricting yourself from a lot of things that you do need. I also found that because I could not maintain this diet as a lifestyle, it just wasn't effective in the long term. Whereas the vegan diet, I found it very easy to 
like integrate and to accommodate into my lifestyle i've been able to keep it going without feeling like i'm restraining myself of anything and also i've noticed that my mindset has changed how before I used to eat for my taste buds for what i love and what i like as opposed to what my body needs whereas now i consider when i consider food i think of what nutrients my body needs and where to get it from so that is kind of my purpose for eating food now is to maintain my body and to keep it strong and healthy i think even just as a christian reading the bible you come to see that god cares about our health third john chapter one verse two beloved i wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospereth god wants us to have a healthy body he wants our bodies to prosper and he wants our health to be good but at the same time he wants us to make choices and commitments that will lead us to the good health and to the prosperous lifestyle that is not just about money or wealth but about health i think it is something that every individual has to consider for themselves and think about what is helpful to them and what is not helpful to them so far what we have chosen and the things some of the things that we are doing we are drinking a lot more water my choice of um drink now is always water always I, I hardly ever would drink anything but water and if I would drink anything but water then it might be maybe just like um, a hot drink or something like that. See that little timetable over there? I kind of have like a set timetable now on when to eat and you know what times that I eat. Usually now eat three times a day at the most. I avoid eating snacks, sweets and usually now I prefer nuts if I was to have a snack. It would maybe be like a handful of nuts or you know just a fruit or something like that and i try to eat five hours in between basically so i have breakfast at nine in the morning and that's usually um something with a lot of fiber and something that's filling and heavy and keeps me going for the rest of the day I have breakfast in the morning at nine and then um after five hours so about two three i'll have my lunch and that would usually be another meal that can sustain me for the rest of the day last meal for the day is usually just a little something tea and some bread or just something really light like i don't see the benefit in having a heavy meal at late at night now because you you go to sleep and your body doesn't have time to process what you eat so at the moment i usually quite frankly eat twice a day because i have the two big meals and when i say big i don't mean portion i just mean in actual meals um and then my last meal for the day is usually just something very light if i have it it's usually something very light and i've foregone all other beverages that i used to drink i don't really drink like tea bags and caffeine and all that you know i try and avoid that um actually i do avoid that <laughs> i don't implement that in my diet whatsoever and alcohol as well that i've cut completely out of my diet it's almost like a detox diet but it's a lifestyle so it's not something that is restraining or restricting but i found that these things that are in choices that i've made are of benefit and um, research has shown that actually a vegan diet and a vegetarian diet has a lot of benefits it conditions your mind to look for the nutrients that your body needs so that's kind of why the benefit is there because you're eating for health and not just eating for taste bud satisfaction so that is one good thing i'd say it's helped me condition my mind and it's helped me create good eating habits i've been able to also recognize that my sleeping habits also affect my health and my wealth and my um yeah wealth because health is wealth let's be honest so i found that my sleeping habits which i've also tried to incorporate in that routine there that plan that i've got there and i found that it's a good way to establish a lifestyle because a lifestyle without a routine will not help you cultivate good habits so in order to have the good habits you have to have a routine and you have to teach yourself the good habits and then you find that it becomes something that you do without even thinking about that plan there i wrote out myself and it's christ-centered so i do everything based on also my prayer time my devotion time i do everything around um the time at work it's, it's like a whole lifestyle shift and this all came from understanding how our lifestyle and what we do affects our relationship with christ and everything we do we either draw us nearer to christ 
or further from Christ. And I mean everything we do. I've kind of had to shift my pattern and my way of life so that everything I do draws me nearer to Christ and not further from him. In terms of fitness and workout at the moment, as you've seen, I haven't really posted any jump rope videos. To be honest, it's been a while since I've picked up a jump rope. I will not lie. My main source of exercise these days is walking. Um, I walk to work. So I walk usually at least one hour a day because I walk to work. Maybe like 40 minutes. Depends how fast I'm walking. It's usually like a 20 minute walk. Double that because I go to work and from work. So I usually walk at least 40 minutes a day. And that's kind of been my exercise so far. I've stopped going to the gym, I won't lie to you, because I found that outdoor exercise is just fresher, it's just nicer. So, um, and with the lockdown as well, when they shut down the gyms and stuff, I just haven't bothered to renew my membership. I haven't done jump rope in a long time. I mean, like I said, my main source of exercise now is just walking. And during the weekends, I do try and go for a walk as well. Um, but I am trying to be a bit more active because I recognize that obviously walking might not always help our bodies be active enough. In terms of maintaining my weight, because I'm not exercising as much, I found that my diet helps me do that. My weight, although it fluctuates a little bit, it's not, it doesn't fluctuate greatly as it used to before. And I've also found um, that in establishing times when I eat, I avoid having snacks here and there that has helped me to keep my system going and you know because i eat every five hours now it gives my body enough time to digest all the meals that i eat before i have something else and it's kept my like my bowel movements regular i know that's a bit too much information but i thought i'd share that as well and before i used to get really constipated sometimes it used to really be uncomfortable and worrying and you know i would drink gallons of water and I just feel like, Ugh, oh my gosh, what's really going on? You know, sometimes I think there's even laxatives that people end up taking because of the constipation. But we don't realise that these things are all down to our diet. But I'll tell you now, I haven't had that problem. Since I went vegan, Not, I have not had that problem. I'm not lying to you. I've not had a problem with constipation ever. And I thank God for that because I used to really struggle with it. And I think the Lord helped me see that you keep praying for me to help you. But... I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to give you a better diet. I'm trying to... And then when I finally listened and obeyed, I recognized that, yes, Lord, you know what you're talking about. You know what you're saying. Listen, just tell me. I'll do it. I'll do as you say. <laughs> it's been really helpful. And the benefits, I cannot tell you. They are more than I even thought. And my skin, it's helped my skin. I don't really wear makeup as much now. And I found that makeup actually used to cause me more trouble than good. And I used to have, I used to wear makeup quite often. Yes, my skin has been greatly improved as well. And I thank God, praise the Lord for that. Because it's, I'm spending way less time in the mornings to get ready for work. Listen, I just get in the shower, get dressed and I'm good to go. I'm trying to do makeup, trying to, now my times are precious and I spend more time reading the word of God. Whereas before I used to stay up and spend hours, hours and hours watching netflix shows and you know with that you start to snack you start to eat this and you start to eat that and you just don't even really think of what you're actually doing because you know you're just doing it everything that i do is um based on forming good habits i think before i do it and i think is that going to actually be a good thing or a bad thing in terms of my routine is that going to help me or is it going to make my routine worse once you start to have a different idea about food because before i used to eat food like I said, to satisfy my taste buds. No matter how good the food looks, no matter how nice people might say it tastes, no matter how nice it, it, it's deliciously looking or whatever, if there was no meat in my plate, there's no way that food could fully satisfy me. This was my way of thinking before. Whereas now I appreciate the taste of food, I appreciate the source of food, I appreciate the nutrients, I appreciate what it does for my whole body. So it's not so much about whether I eat meat or not, it's not so much about whether there's meat on my plate or not. I don't get food and go, where's the meat? You know what I mean? <laughs> my cooking time as well has drastically also reduced. Oh, I will spend a lot of time cooking because I'm trying to cook the meat, I'm trying to fry the fish. It makes lifestyle just a lot more simpler and I'm not trying to convince anyone to go vegan because I think sometimes people get the impression that when you're talking about the benefits of your diet is because you're trying to convince them to do what you're doing and that's not really the purpose of this video i'm just sharing the benefits of what the vegan diet and the lifestyle that i've now adopted has been for me 
and you know if anyone's wondering about it then you can take this video as my personal testimony of how it's been for me and you can consider that in your own decision making but i am not trying to convince anyone to be vegan just to be clear <laughs> and also i have found that i don't get hungry anymore as i used to before because i'm eating at regular intervals so i'm not waiting till i'm hungry hungry before i eat i have the times that i eat and like i said there's five hours in between um my feeding time so i found that i'm not waiting till i'm hungry hungry because that sometimes can cause us to choose make bad options in what we're eating because we're just hungry and we just want to eat i have certain days that i fast because that is also something that helps keep my control and my temperance in check with many other things fasting has helped me to um, regulate my body and my system and it's not just helped me spiritually but it's also helped my health as well so fasting is another thing that i've incorporated into my diet when i fast i usually choose a day it's usually fridays it's also on that timetable and i usually spent um the fridays just drinking a lot of water and then you know it's i, I don't fast for the whole day i fast from like a certain time to a certain time and then i incorporate that into my diet as well so that's the major th changes that i've incorporated so far so we've got the eating we've got the drinking we've got the sleeping habits we've got the fasting and we've also got the exercising this is a summary of everything if you want a more detailed and in-depth video please let me know in the comments section if you want me to bring back the jump rope just type bring back the jump rope in the comment section <laughs> and maybe we'll consider doing that as well seeing as jump rope is an outdoor thing and we can do it outdoors we might have to try and incorporate that into our routine um but that is basically a brief summary of everything that we have been doing so far and of our fitness and lifestyle if you do want to know more leave your questions down below if you're considering going vegan or vegetarian or changing your diet or you just you're just looking for something that works something that can actually be a lifestyle just let me know below leave your comments down below and also if this has been helpful to you and if it's been a blessing please go ahead and share it with your friends with your family with the people you care about <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe as well come on in all are welcome listen we are on a journey to the promised land flowing with milk and honey so go ahead and click that subscribe button and join the family as we journey together to the promised land of zion obviously with our king jesus christ as our guide and as our chief so he i'm sure he's cheering us on you know those of us who are choosing to look after our bodies better that can never be a bad thing can it and if the bible recommends that we do that then how can that ever be a bad thing if you are considering living a healthier lifestyle making changes to your lifestyle then go ahead and leave your comments down below and join us as we do it together i think i'm just going to end this message with a prayer heavenly father we thank you for this opportunity we've had to share all the goodness that you've brought into our lives the foods that we now eat the lifestyle that we now live the exercise that we now take on and understanding that all these things help us not just physically but mentally and spiritually as well so may you help us consider all that which we put into our bodies how it affects our thinking how it affects our moods and how it affects ultimately our relationship with you so we pray you might help us make better decisions and we pray that all that we've heard shall be of benefit to us and we pray that you shall help us support one another in this journey and help us make better choices and continue to be our strength our anchor and the rock that we stand and build upon we thank you and may you bless all who have heard this message may you be a blessing to them and may you keep them in jesus name we pray amen amen thank you all for listening and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.